black women. We gave you Oprah, Beyonce, and all your favorite reaction memes. I've heard people say they like their women like they like their coffee. Strong, black, and hot enough to give you second degree burns. Care for what you wish for, Darius. But the thing is, not all black women are strong. And even the ones that are strong aren't just that. We like doors open for us too, especially with someone with biceps like Michael B. Jordan, abs like Michael B. Jordan, hair like Michael B. Jordan. But unfortunately, the strong black woman stereotype is ingrained in American culture. It has a long history, about as old as Morgan Freeman and Betty White combined. Now you may be wondering, what is a strong black woman? It's the idea that black women are emotionally resilient, naturally selfless, too proud to ask for help, and can succeed with no resources. So basically every character played by Viola Davis. The irony is the strong black woman stereotype was started by black women to combat all the negative ones. See, in the aftermath of slavery, there were really only two stereotypes of black women. You were either some sex temptress Jezebel or a mammy who was just there to smother people in her booze. In response, black suffragette Mary Church Terrell coined the strong black woman motto, lifting as we climb. And I get what she was going for, but lift as we climb? Even bodybuilders don't do both at the same time. You can't expect a black woman to do more than Schwarzenegger in his prime. But over time, society shrank a black woman down to just her strength. And the popular conception now is that black women can bear and overcome any birth. We see it all over our culture. In movies like The Color Purple. Oh my life, I had to fight. And how can we forget Ghost? where Whoopi Goldberg literally has to let a white man use her body to rub foreheads with his fiance. Even when black women only have one line, it's strong as hell. Move, or you will be moved. Damn, at least let her say hello. But Dulce, what's wrong with being perceived as strong? Isn't it a good thing? No, not if black women destroy their mental and physical health trying to live up to it, and not if people think black women are so strong they make them do all the work on their own. Look at Stacey Abrams. She helped Democrats win Georgia, and before you knew it, she was being asked to fix vaccine distribution, the New York subway, and Kim and Kanye's marriage. The stereotype even reaches the doctor's office. Black women are less likely to be properly diagnosed, they have a much higher maternal mortality rate, and they're less likely to be believed about their symptoms and pain. So a black woman basically has to be a doctor to know everything that's going on with her body and then convince another doctor that that's what's happening. I was in a car accident. I have contusions, lacerations, and internal bleeding. Uh, get me a morphine drip and prep surgery stat. We'll get you a couple band-aids and you'll be fine. What? So the next time you see a black woman struggling at work or trying to lift a box, help her. Don't just stand there like you're about to see Wonder Woman in action. In fact, if you're in the New York area, I'm moving this week and I could use some help moving my couch because I'll be damned if I'm gonna pull my back lifting my own couch.